This is college football on ESPN from the Commonwealth this afternoon. It's the massive first play from scrimmage as the Red Wolves make their first trip to New England. Play action. They'll dump it off to the tight end. That's Stevenson with a big stiff arm, and he gets all the way out. Game. Cross a very dangerous back. They've got two really good ones here. They'll take a shot downfield. Flag flies. Rutherford on the coverage. Not going to matter. And then the ball is half team. They dug themselves holes this year. And Wallace on the attack has the first down and finally upended by Deshaun Jerkin. Very difficult to pick up for defenses. And here they'll play action. Rayner looking to the end zone. He has a man, and it is incomplete. Was looking for Courtney Jackson. He's the disruptor for the UMass defense. And now they'll dump it off, and that's Crumbie, the tight end. Crumbie's moving the ball. They'll hand it off. Jaquez Cross traverses from right to left, and he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, ace. And it is a 75-yard TD drive to start this one off. Well, and talking to the six to go here in the first quarter, great start for A-State. UMass with the football when we come back. 133 yards on the ground so far this season, over 2,000 career rushing yards. And, Goldie, we were talking with the staff for A-State. Wallace and Cross, very good. A, a early interception and great field position for Arkansas State. If you could hold Arkansas State right here to a field goal attempt, that's a win. A-State's go-to. Difference for you and so many others within our diverse human family. Every day, in ways big and small, we are humbled and there helps you go on to make all the difference in your own world. Together, the team we prepared have for every challenge. Milton Cat, always ready. They didn't come away with a ton of success in those short yarded situations. They'll boot this one away, and it'll take a UMass bounce. Jackson has plenty of room here today. Here's a carry for Cross. Gets it to the 40 yard line, a pickup of five on first down. Well, and Arkansas State continuing to have big plays on, on here in Amherst. So a lot of alumni coming back at the Hall of Fame banquet last night. Some royalty in the house. The president of the NCAA, Charlie Baker, former governor of Miami, on a 29-yard pickup. And Butch Jones was very complimentary of the UMass receivers, Simpson, Johnson, Pope. He said all three of those guys are going to be playing on Sunday. He'll orbit DeWozier, and he'll get it to him a little bit behind him. And trying to make something out of it. And how UMass has been able to respond in second half of games. You have to continue to run your game plan and, and concentrate on yourself. We'll hand it off to Jaquez Cross and Gerald's again. Billy Wood in there after a gain of two. So keep it on the ground this time. And Cross is the player, if you're a state, that you try to get him to get outside. He's not. As Pelogi will kick this one away. Back to retrieve is Cross, and he'll step up to make the catch at the Ford Union offering co-op advantage checking with cash back on all purchases plus secure debit card controls all from the UMass 5 mobile banking app. And Amherst is the place to be on Saturdays in the Pioneer Valley. So get your Massachusetts football tickets now by UMassAthletics.com slash tickets or by calling one 8 umass Josh Wallace, who certainly made a difference in his late departure, I think, sort of shuffled some things around. Yeah, and Josh Wallace, he, he was a grad student. He was a three-time. Dig in defensively. Pumachong is going to take a shot deep downfield, and it is out of reach of Simpson all the way to the 30-yard line. Hash. Yeah, and the one thing, though, after that DeWozier touchdown run, we saw Kieron Adams in that drive, long runs. Not a single running play. It was all past our side of the field, then the near side of the field, and then they try to take the shot downfield. Right here, it almost feels like. Rainer so far, 7 of 10, 108 yards and two touchdowns. And they'll throw it. D2 and D3 is a two-year post-eligibility uh, insurance program for kids who get injured playing a sport if they're still in treatment when they. Hands on that shoulder. I hope it's obviously nothing super serious, but they are taking every per game by that. And what does the future look like for you guys? Well, I think one of the things we need to remember here is, you know, 95% of the teams and the schools. After the uh, play, there were fouls by both teams. Governor of the Commonwealth, what are you proud of most in your, your time as governor here? Um, I think the thing, well, look, you know, there's plenty to be. Guards a carry. Well, he came in ninth in FBS football in rushing yards, and 
you know, we talked about it in the open, but the way that he's been. This may be against UMass on a hold. Yeah, that's too bad. That time Campiotti coming in motion had a great block that allowed the first down. That penalty was enforced half the distance of the goal from the end of the play with an automatic. That's on the down. Princeton transfer, Nate Marty. And that puts UMass all the way inside the 15 line. line. It's all about pad level. You got to get lower than the other the other team. And you're right, last week there was too many times that UMass couldn't punch it in on these. He is when he gets out in, in space. I mean, obviously we talk about so much of, of him as a running back, back, but as a returner as well. And, you know, Cross, their second. 30 seconds. Arkansas State has all three timeouts remaining, by the way. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of time, and we've seen scoring drives of just mass. We've seen three of their five games this year. They've shut out the opponent in the third quarter. This this staff very good at adjusting, making those adjustments. At so Rainer on three runs has been the offense on this drive. Final minute of the first half. Second runoff, which Arkansas State declines. Clock will start on the snap. Please reset the game clock to 22 seconds. And that's it. Flips it out to Cross. Cross goes down the far sideline and makes a couple of defenders miss. Finally, great. Right. You know, we we got we got we got a bunch of guys who really you know want to want to do well, want to win games. You know, they uh, you know I say it year in and year out, but the guys week in week out, you know, uh, and and the club will big big victory and get us hold on. Thanks to us, you bet. Catch gets a foot in. And then A State pulling away. There's Jackson, who has been a factor throughout the course of the season. His eighth career touchdown. Number two, Hall of Fame weekend here in Amherst. And A State having a good time. That sideline is juiced up. Ah, oh, and they've been since they. Look at some of the stats here. 324 total yards for Arkansas State. 168 for the Minutemen. From back upfield and pick up the first down. Fabian Thomas, a offender, killed and is able to fall forward, but took a load. Gathers able to absorb the blow from Simpson. He picks up two. Well, this is similar to the last time that they were down. Duozier with a touchdown on the ground. He's got 75 yards rushing today. And then he comes up with a big touchdown catch for Massachusetts. His fourth. Oh, what a game Duozier has had. Second touchdown, one on the 60-yard run, and that one a... Uh, a nice job by Pumachan finding as he is tended to the Minutemen banged up in the secondary. This is just a quick strike to Jackson. Yeah, and Trey Powell, the player coming up right here, you typically see him make that play over 400 yards of offense, and we haven't finished the third quarter. So first spot, it's first down. It's Josh Atwood, the center, and, you know, Matt, maybe some frustration coming through here. Yeah, I think, I mean, if you're you, Matt, on the corner, when we come back from Amherst. Made a huge difference. Yeah, and the one time they punted, that, that was in the first quarter. That, that was their fourth drive in the first quarter after two touchdowns and a field goal. Elevate how you hydrate and keep it smart with Smart Water Alkaline. On conclusion, 52 to 20, still early on in the fourth quarter. And, and five of those receivers have over 44 yards receiving. None of them have more than four. A fight off Thomas, and then a flag comes in. 12-yard gain. See maybe a face mask there? Personal foul. Umachong tries to get out of the pocket. You can see doesn't have the gate that he needs. Lofts it downfield looking for K-Ron Lynch Adams. Incomplete. That is not the Pumachong we saw. We got banged up pretty good last week. That's Travian Thomas who was down with an injury. So they'll keep it here on the timeout. You they then lost to Memphis 37-3. Bounce back against Stony Brook. And then again against Southern Miss. Most of that with six touchdowns, matching a program record in a single game. So the penalty and the flags have been pretty even, both too many on UMass and Arkansas State today, for the most part. 
Well, 383 yards through the air for Arkansas State. Really takes away the need to run the football, especially when you're having a gain. Yeah, I say this, you know, we talked with head coach Butch Jones throughout the week, and he said, look, we want to build this thing from the ground up. And there was a point in the Stony. You most, UMass almost knocked off Tennessee in that game. We've got some of that footage if we can get to it. There's a handoff to Cross. And we asked uh, both Coach Butch Jones and Don Brown if they had ever played against one another. And Coach Butch Jones said, yeah. <laughs> when Don was at Plymouth State, to give an idea of how, how much coaching these two guys <laughs> shot down the clock. And again to Wallace, back to the 40-yard line. Tie for second place all time. And a single game for Arkansas State with five touchdowns thrown. Could be six. Wide open. Here's sideline. Jones turns it into the end zone. Here's the program matching record. Sixth touchdown of the day here. for Rainer. Watch Rainer. It looks like he's going to run. Both UMass defenders come up right there that you saw on the screen. Wide open receiver, a cut inside. I see what you did there, our producer, Steve Fennick. There's up the seam to Pope. On pace, tough to keep that pace, <laughs> but a 20. Strike to the outside, that's George Johnson the third. Sheds a defender and gets back to the initial line of scrimmage. To Pope. Shy of the sticks, but Pope able to fight off. This game last week. Don't forget you always got Brady Olsen. A throw that's complete to Sean Harris Jr. And he's able to worm his way inside the five-yard line. You wonder if it will Nate Marty digging in. Handed off to Adams. Adams bullies his way into the end zone. Touchdown. Matt Lynch Adams from goal to go gets into the end zone for the minute side. John with a little flip. Six touchdowns, matching a program record in a single game. A roll out. There's Stevenson, the tight end. And he, rather, that's McCrumby. Six to 364. If you were to say coming into today that UMass would have 364 yards of offense going early on in the fourth quarter. 16 transfers, 13 true freshmen. And Wallace. Get out to the 40-yard line near the line. Of that game. There's a handoff, and now down the depth chart to Brian Sneed at Austin P. Uh, chop down the clock. And again to Wallace, back to the 40-yard line. Play. Second and seven. Sneed looking for space. He gets to the edge and is taken down from to go. And the handoff to Sneed, he eludes Wooden in the backfield. J.B. Brown. He'll hand it off. And Sneed, as designed, gets to the 31-yard line. Now there are no interceptions. And Pumachong will throw to Campiotti complete with 107 to go. That felt like a backbreaking on the road coming up from Jonesboro. And they make a statement to the rest the of the, the Sun Belt. Winning their conference over 52 to 28, spearheaded by the true freshman quarterback Rayner. Well, I mean, early on that we we were gonna see Rayner running all the all over the place, but instead it was with his arm.